Hi, in this video, what we're going to look at is this problem of, okay, I want to reference a previous choice that someone's made in an XLS form, but I want it to come up with a label name, not the XML value that was in the original um, code of the questionnaire. Okay, what do I mean? So take a look at this screen. So this is kind of what we're what we're looking at. So what is your age range? And I might have a list of different age ranges for people to choose. And they might say under 18 years. Now I want might want to use that in my next question and say your age is under 18 years. But it comes up with this little underscore because it's referencing the XML value. Uh, if we chose a different age range, you can see 40 to 49 underscore years because it's not allowed to have any spaces in that XML value. So how do we make it look like this? Your age is 40 to 49 years. If we say prefer not to specify, you can see it even more clearly. Prefer dash not to specify dash 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 dash. It doesn't look like nice English, whereas what we want to show is what they've chosen. Prefer not to specify, uh, which is what it looks like here. And you can use this actually with different languages as well. So we can take a look at that a little bit later. So how do we do this? What does it look like? Let's find out. Great. So we are in uh, Kobo form builder and we're actually going to build a really simple form. So what we're going to do is add a new question. Uh, what age are you? And we're going to add that question. We're going to make it a select one. Okay. So option one, um, we're going to say under 18 years old. And then we will say option two is 19 to 35 years old. And then we'll say 36 to uh, 49 years old. And then we'll say 50 years plus. Okay. Okay. So those are going to be our options for our question. Then we're going to put in a note question. And all we want to say is that this note should say your age is, and then we want to refer back to this question up here. So we can go to settings. What age are you? We can copy that data column name. We can go in here, put a dollar sign, open curly bracket, paste that in with a closed curly bracket, and it should give us the age. Okay. So if we save that, what does it look like? So let's see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. What age are you under 18 years old? You can see that it has these underscores. Okay. So how do we make it come up with just under 18 years old, whatever it is in that language. Okay. So, uh, let's pop into the edit again. What we need to do in here is make a calculation question. Okay. So we want to add a question. So we don't put any label or anything. We want it to be a calculate. Okay. Now this is going to get a little bit, um, I guess let's just try this. So JR, my J has kind of disappeared because it's that thick blue line, but JR choice dash name. And let's do an open, an open bracket. And what we want to do is refer back to this question. So we're going to grab the column name again. Okay. Copy that. And we want to say the first thing is what choice did they select? So all we have to do is reference that question. Then we put a comma. And then what we want to do is put an open single open parentheses there and then put exactly the same thing. Dollar sign, open curly bracket. What age are you? Close curly bracket. And then that little uh, quote mark. Okay. Close the bracket. Totally. Okay. Now, let's change this calculation to well, we can say age calculation. Okay. Now let's put in another note question down here. Your age is, and then let's refer to the age calculation. Okay. Now, if we add that question as a note, whoop. okay, let's save this. Let's check out what this looks like. Okay. 
So we're back in the example. So let's say under 18 years old again. Okay, so now we have under 18 years old was the first note. Now our new note doesn't have all of those underscores. It actually shows us the English version of what we want. Now, my next question is, could we do this in whatever language we want? Okay, so this gets really useful when you work in a program, as most of us do around the world, where English isn't the first language. So now we can start to refer back to other questions in the language that they answered in. Okay, so we'll go do this. So what we want to do is we're going to manage our translations here. So English is our default name with this English code. Let's do this um, as our as French as our second language. Okay. So language name French, and we can put this in French. All right, and now let's edit this, okay? Oops, sorry. Update translations, okay. So what age are you? Da, 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 da. So we want to know all of these things. Now, I don't have a French. Yeah, it's gonna be quite difficult for me um, to get this correct because I don't have a French keyboard. So let's pop into Google Translate. I don't recommend using Google Translate for actually doing <laughs> translations, um, but let's quickly do this and you can watch me. Now, when you use Google Translate for calculating these things, I'm just popping in here to say, so votre age is, So votre age, and then we put in dollar sign, curly bracket. So what age are you? Okay, so we wanna keep that exact formatting for the actual coding part of the question, okay? Okay, so I just wanted to show you that. I'll also show you here your age is, okay? Okay, so just fixing this up. So votre, et, votre age, and then say age calculations. We do want to keep those references in the original XML or the, the language of the form, okay? Okay, so once that um, we, once we've entered in those translations, I'm going to save those changes. And let's X out of here. Now we're going to preview this. And we're going to change the language to French. Okay. Quel âge as-tu? Moins de 18 ans. Okay. Now, if in that first note, it just brings up the XML value, so under 18 years old, okay? So that looks like it's coming up in the original English because the form is built in English, so the code underneath. But when we use this JR choice name, it comes up in what of whatever language we've actually selected. So this is just super exciting. Um, it makes so many things possible um, for what you're doing. So I want you um, to use this if this is something that you think uh, would be really helpful for you, especially if you're referencing these uh, in other languages in your form. What I will do is I will leave this example so you can download the XLS form. Uh, so you, you can download that as a, as a free download. I'll leave the link in the description below the video. So go and check that out. And then you can kind of play with it and do it in your own form. So replicate that. The other thing is if you're interested in learning more tips like this or in learning about information management and impact measurement in the humanitarian development and social enterprise sectors, then subscribe and um, it'd be great to have you join the mailing list. Also do regular trainings and um, capacity building for our sector workers around the world. So if that's something that you think would be really useful for your team, uh, do get in touch. I'll leave a link in the description below with contact details so you can uh, reach out because I'd love to uh, work with your organization to 
uh, build that capacity around information management. So hope to see you soon, hear from you soon. Without further ado, I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye.